We're staying in Abuja where the organized labor and its civil society allies staged a protest of the National Assembly demanding a reversal of the recent hike in the pump price of petrol. But the parliament demands the suspension of the industrial action for one week to enable it to intervene on labor's seven-point demands. TVC News' Jokia Adesa reports. After Tuesday's meeting with the government team, organized labor resolved to go ahead with its planned nationwide protest. As early as 7 a.m., members of the Nigeria Labor Congress, Trade Union Congress, and the civil society community defied the early morning rain to converge on the Unity Fountain. Then the procession began. There was a brief stop at the Federal Ministry of Justice where the protesters insisted they did not run foul of any court injunction. If we are told that they were, saving, they were sending about 400 billion every month on subsidy, two months after, we should be thinking about a profit of about one trillion. We should have been channeled to reduce the suffering of all Nigerians. There is no country in the world that allow its, its currency to be floated a hundred percent. There is nothing that workers of the world and workers of Nigeria have gotten without a struggle. From the ministry, the protest headed for the National Assembly, but the gates to the complex were shut. Several appeals to grant access failed, and the protesters failed the gates. Inside the National Assembly, Labour presented a seven-point demand, including activation of the nation's refineries and a reversal to the old pump price of petrol. There was an agreement we signed with the government that we should explore the CNG gas option as an alternative. Instead of forcing every Nigerian to buy at 600 and 30 and 40 and whatever rates. The Senate, through the chief whip, appealed to Labour to suspend its nationwide strike. I'm begging you to call up the judge and give us one week and we will report progress and if you are not satisfied with the progress we are making, then you can take further action. Please. You can trust me. If it is not working, I will call your leadership and tell them that this is how it is. Organized labor along with their civil society allies have been able to pass their message across to the National Assembly and in line with the demand of the parliament, they are hoping that within the next one week, the difference that they require will be seen. Joke Edson. TVC News, Abuja. And amid the nationwide protests, President of the Nigeria Liberal Congress, Joe Ajero, and his counterpart of the Trade Union Congress, uh, Festus Osifo, met with President Bola Tinubu at the presidential villa. The meetings is to find a common ground between the striking workers and federal government over the removal of full subsidy. We have details in this report. Assembly, and we'll be releasing a document on their next line of action. Joe Ajiro said the commitment made by the president was deeper than what was said during the national broadcast a few days ago. Issues are the same issues that led to the protest today, and we have. Uh, he has expressed his position, made some commitment, which we are taking side by side with what the National Assembly said, the Senate said, and we're taking it back to the office with our colleagues there to review it and release a document on our next line of action. The Labour Union will have its National Council meeting tomorrow and come up with a position.